Hey everyone, this is Tim, also known as the Intentional Millionaire, and we're gonna talk about the seven types of income that you need to currently start making so you can have a great financial outcome. So the seven types of income you need to start making today. Number one, earn income. This is where the vast majority of the population make most of their money, and earn income is like working a job, being self-employed. This is where you make the bulk of most of your money at. Now, there's two drawbacks of earn income. The first one being you're going to get taxed at the highest possible tax rates. The second one being it's going to take the longest and hardest road to build wealth. The reason why is because you need to plan for 30 to 40 years before you can really see the growth and the potential in your hard earned efforts. So I like to say earn income, a great category, but it's a way we start, but we don't finish here. Number two is profit income. And profit income is let's just say you own a business and from that business you create revenues and then based off of you paying for your taxes paying for all the expenses what is left over that's what you consider your profit the great thing about if you have a business and you got profit income, you just need to make sure that you understand and you have a profit and loss statement for your business, but also make sure that you have balance sheet for your business so you can know what's your assets and what's your liabilities in your business. Profit income is a great category to be in. I say after earned income, this should be the next category you should start to move to, but you only make this move once you built your financial house first. And the third way you need to start making income is royalty income. And royalty income is basically uh, you getting paid for using your name, if you write, write a book, if you know how to sing, if you trademark, if you have a patent, or you have intellectual property. You get paid every time that your item, that said item, voice, book, or whatever is sold, you get paid on that actual item. So that's what we call a royalty. And normally a royalty could be a percentage or it could be flat, but you need to make royalty income. Now, this is a category that I'm currently not in. So this is a category that I'm going to work towards getting into. It's definitely a great category to get into. Number four is interest income. And interest income is basically where you put your money in account where you're allowing compound interest to work for you. So for example, it could be a high year savings account where you get anywhere from four to five percent. It could be a money market account. It could be a CD. It could actually be you doing a loan. So let's just say you loan some money to Billy and you tell Billy, I'm gonna loan you a hundred dollars and I'm gonna charge you 10% interest. So when you pay me back, you got to pay me $110. That's actually part of income. I like to say interest income should be where you should be housing your emergency fund. So your 6 to 12 months of emergency money should be in this category right here of income because it should be doing two things. It should be taking advantage of compound interest and putting money right back into the account, using the money to make money. Number five. Dividend income. This is a big one here because dividend income is basically when you buy stock in an account and because you all have ownership, you bought stock into a company. Well, that company now pays you dividends when they make profit, when they make money. And dividends can be paid monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. And the great thing about dividend income I like to say this is the key component one because dividend income is truly passive income. You pretty much set it up and go. Now you do have to monitor it because sometimes companies may not have a profitable year and because they didn't, they may cut back on dividends or they may stop paying dividends. However, with that being said though, dividends truly could be passive because I know some people that they make money just off of dividends. So. This is a great way to make money and it's a category you absolutely need to start strategizing around getting into. And number six is rental income. You all know rental income. We're not just talking about single family homes, commercial. We're talking about rental of anything. Basically, anything that you own that you can rent to someone else that actually can count towards your rental income. So for example, let's just say you have two vehicles, you have a car and a truck. Well, you can rent the truck out to someone that may be moving 
And at that point, you have rental income. Also, let's just say you're a painter and you have a spray rig and you rent that spray rig out to another painter to do a particular job. Well, that case, then you can create rental income. And also, it does include real estate, having rental properties, commercial, but also included in this is land. You can actually have land, and let's just say it's a festival going on and people need somewhere to park. Well, you can charge people to park on your land. That's considered rental income. A great, another great way to add to the pot of incomes. And the final income, number seven, is capital gains income. And the great thing about capital gains income is it's pretty much you have an investment and you sell the investment for more than you pay for it. So for example, let's just say you had a rental property. You decide that now you want to get rid of it because you move into another state and you don't want to be managing it in another state, so you decide to sell it. And let's just say you paid 100,000 for it, you're gonna sell it for 150. That $50,000 now is your capital gains income. Now, the question then become though is, you have to know that it's two forms of capital gains income. You can have short-term or long-term capital gains income. Short-term means you have it for less than a year. Long-term capital gain income, meaning you have for one year in a day. I like to add a day because depending on if you go up past midnight or not, you might be thinking it's a day, you're not fully at a day yet. So I like to say one year in a day, but the difference why that's so important is because how the taxes is handled on capital gains income. Now for short term, you have to know that if you have it less than a year, then that income gonna get taxed as ordinary income, meaning the highest possible tax rates. Now, if you keep it for one year and a day, then it's gonna be tax based on the capital gain rates. And there's three categories for the capital gain rates. It could be 0%, 15%, or 20%. Now you have to give it to your tax advisor to discuss how the taxes need to be handled, but just know that 0, 15, and 20 is normally better than the tax rates for earned income. Those are the seven ways and the seven types of income you need to start making today. So with that being said, my name is Tim also known as the Intentional Millionaire. And make sure you don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. And down in the comment section below, just share in the comments, are you taking advantage of all the seven types of income? And if not, what incomes do you feel as though you need for you and when are you going to start them? So make sure you share down below. Catch you all in the next video. Peace.